Remember how we learned that gravity was a constant? 9.8 meters per second per second? Yeah, it's not. Hey Earthbound viewers, D News here, I'm Trace. Gravity pulls us down to the planet below us. It's what keeps us from flying off into space. This kind of gravity, it's not just a good idea, it's the law. But just because it's a law doesn't mean that it's perfect, because sometimes it's not. On May 30th, NASA announced that they had discovered why the moon had gravity inconsistencies. And I thought to myself, what? Gravity inconsistencies? What are you talking about, NASA? Gravity fluctuates depending on a number of things. It makes a lot of sense because it depends on the planet's density, the movement of the mantle, and how far away from the planet's core you're actually standing. Also, as in the case on Earth, depending on where the tides are and where the moon is, gravity will also change. Gravity is measured in gals. There's so many jokes to make. The more gals you have, the heavier things are, with most of the United States anomalies topping out at about 30 milligals, according to the US Geological Survey. A gal is one centimeter per second per second, either an increase or a decrease. So a milligal is not a lot on Earth, but it's measurable in space and on other smaller bodies. So our planet pulls us down at 9.8 meters per second per second in a vacuum at sea level on a featureless planet, which doesn't really exist. However, if you're on top of Mount Everest, gravity is higher because all of that mass below you. But if the moon is directly above you and pulling on you, that makes gravity a teensy bit less because the moon's pulling at you, bro. Those gals making everything more complicated. The phenomenon was accidentally discovered in the late 1960s when the lunar orbiter would dip and speed up when passing over certain areas of the moon. Using the Doppler shift of the radio signals sent from the lunar orbiter, NASA gravity mapped the moon's Earth's facing surface. Those nerdy, smart little bastards. Now, 50 years later, we finally know the source of those gravity anomalies. Using a pair of Grail satellites named Ebb and Flo, NASA scientists mapped the mass concentrations of gravity, called MassCons, and inside the MassCons, under the crust of the moon, probes discovered long-crashed asteroids. The asteroids are so dense that they actually affect the apparent gravity for objects on the moon. The pattern involves an area of dense gravity, then an area of lesser gravity, then an area of dense gravity again. It's kind of like a bullseye. Aside from helping us land on the moon more precisely, Gravity maps tell us a lot about what the moon is made of, its history, and also what happens after a massive impact, which is gonna happen again, mark my words. What do you think of this discovery? Is it cool or just meh? Keep tuning into DNews twice a day, we're working hard for you, and make sure you subscribe, and you know what? Share if you like. Catch you on the dark side, everybody.